giveaway time. I am going to be announcing the winner to my last video's giveaway. I'm actually picking two winners for today's giveaway. I wanted to do something a little different to give back to all of my subscribers and my members. If you're not familiar, I actually have a YouTube membership on my channel now. You are able to support my channel. It's only $4.99 a month and I do tons of interactive content with everyone. So you get behind the scene videos, sneak peeks. You guys help me choose my thumbnails. You guys will also be able to help me choose future videos. And I also do live demos with my members only. So if you guys are interested, make sure to join. The link will be in the description box. I truly appreciate it. And I am so excited because we are growing so, so fast. So that being said, the winners for today's video are going to be taking home. More or less, I'm going to be sending you guys one of the Profiles Backstage swag bags. So if you're not familiar with their website, they do offer a membership as well. You pay a certain amount of money a month and they send you nail goodies once a month. It's freaking amazing because you get to increase your nail art inventory. And not only that, they actually give you a design for those specific products and a video tutorial for it. I think it's genius and it's freaking awesome. I get so excited to see what I'm getting for that month. So um, they were nice enough to send me some to send to you guys. So it's really exciting. Don't forget to join. Use my discount code and you will save some money on that. I want to say you get $5 off. So our first winner is going to be from my YouTube membership. And her name is... I did not want to butcher your name, girl. So here you go. Make sure to message me on Instagram and I will send that right out to you. And then for my regular subscribers, here she is. <laughs> Congratulations to you both. Again, thank you so much for supporting my channel and everyone else who has subscribed to my channel. I hope one day you guys get to win. Stay tuned as I'm going to be doing tons more giveaways. Now let's get into the mermaid tutorial. Getting right into today's video, I am using Soft Peach from Knot Polish and applying that near the cuticle, gently pushing it up into that cuticle area and then blending it down towards the tip. So basically what I'm doing here is I just want to conceal that natural nail for my practice hand and give it more of a natural look. So I'm taking a very thin layer and just gently concealing that. Now I'm taking this really pretty teal color from Not Polish and applying that onto that middle section and sort of marbleizing it upwards. And then I'm taking a grape from Profiles Backstage. This is a really pretty mylar acrylic. And then all of the glitters will be linked in the description box along with discount codes that I may have for them. I am using an extremely insane huge amount of glitters for this set. I love adding tons of texture to a design, so I am combining a bunch of them and it is kind of hard to explain the name of each one when I'm using them in such small areas. So make sure to check out the description box for all of the products. I'm taking this circle glitter and I feel like it's perfect for the mermaid look as it's iridescent and it gives off two different hues and it kind of reminds me of bubbles. So it went perfectly and I decided to go in with that. So here I'm taking clear acrylic and applying a thin layer. Now I'm taking again my nude color and just applying that on the natural nail area. Again to conceal anything that I want to conceal. Once I'm done applying my nude color, I am taking these really cute starfish nail art embellishments that I got from Amazon. What I'm doing is taking the flat end of my brush and 
pressing it firmly into that wet acrylic so it adheres and I'm just adding a tiny little bit of acrylic just to kind of keep it in place while I do the rest of the glitter. So since my base is still sort of wet, I'm going in with my loose glitters and just applying that directly onto that wet surface. And then I'm just moving them around as I want them placed. So one thing that I really like about like mermaid designs or specific designs like this is you just really have to have like your base colors down. And for me, I love doing teal and purple because that for whatever reason represents mermaid to me. And then I just throw in a bunch of glitters, some, you know, like ocean inspired nail art and you have a beautiful mermaid design. So I'm going in again with that blue acrylic from Not Polish and marbleizing it just on that area. And then I'm layering on more glitter. The more glitter, the better. I love sparkles. And then here I'm just placing the tiniest amount of clear acrylic and applying these little gold embellishments that are from Profiles Backstage. I'm also going to be using them on top of the nail when I'm done. But you can encapsulate these. You just have to make sure that you are working on a very flat surface so the nail doesn't become extremely bulky at the end when you encapsulate. So now I'm taking some clear acrylic and applying that on the tip of the nail. This is going to be my base for my fish or mermaid scales, whichever you want to call it. But I'm working very thin so my nail does not become extremely bulky. And once this acrylic mattifies, that's when you're going to be doing this step. You want it to be semi-dry but not all the way dry. I'm pressing my fishnet into the clear powder to prevent it from sticking to that wet acrylic and then I'm gently pressing it in making sure it doesn't move and then once it is good to go you can remove it gently and boom you have your fish scale so what I'm doing now is taking deja vu from not polished really pretty purple color and pressing it into those creases and I want to wipe off any excess that may be showing or on that clear powder because I want it in the end to be clear and not fully purple I just want the purple to be in the indents and the creases so make sure you are wiping off any excess you can always file it off but for me that's just way too much work so I'd rather just do it from the get-go and be good to go And then I'm just going to be layering on a little bit more of the glitter just to kind of conceal that transition from the blue to the purple. And now I am encapsulating very lightly. I'm still going to be doing more encapsulating at the end. But for this, it basically works as a layer to protect those glitters so that none of it falls off. Now I'm taking some more nude and doing the exact same thing on my middle finger as I want to conceal that area. But as you can see, it's really easy to achieve mermaid nails. I used to love doing mermaid nails and then all of a sudden my clients stopped asking for them. But it's fine because now I'm doing a set for you guys and I really enjoyed doing it. So now I'm going to be doing another nail with the fishnet. So again, I'm applying my clear acrylic and I'm making sure I'm patting it nice and smooth, dragging it down. And for this one, I'm going to be kind of doing a diagonal cut with my brush just to kind of give it a little different effect. And then I'm going to be adding glitter in that area afterwards. Once 
once I have it shaped the way I want it. And as you can see, the acrylic now is matte, but it's not all the way dry. Again, make sure to press your fishnet into your clear acrylic so it doesn't stick to the wet powder. Firmly press it in gently so it doesn't move. And let it dry just for a few seconds. Once you can remove it, go ahead and remove it. And again, you have your fish scales. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. You can honestly do so many different looks with this. Highly recommend it. Give it a go. It's so much fun and I do really think it's super cute. Again, I'm taking some of that purple acrylic, firmly pressing it into those creases. And for this one, I'm actually going to be doing half purple and half of the blue color and kind of just blending them together in that middle section. course I'm going to be layering on more glitter and mylars and just sparkly stuff. Glitters really help conceal any area that you don't like. So for example that transition from the fish scales to the nude was kind of rough. So all I'm doing is concealing that with glitters and no one will be able to tell that there was a transition to begin with. So now I'm adding a little bit of glitter also in that clear area that I left naked. Just to give it a little bit of contrast, I wanted to try to give it a different look than what I did on the ring finger. And then again, I'm going in with a small bead of acrylic and encapsulating just so my glitter and everything stays put until I'm ready to fully encapsulate. Now for the index finger, I'm doing basically what I did on the pinky nail. So I'm just going to let you guys look at this and learn by watching. Now that I'm done with my design, I'm going in with my clear acrylic from Not Polish and encapsulating this set. This is where I'm going to be adding the rest of the thickness that I want for this set. You want to make sure you build up the apex. I'm not specifically doing that in this set because it is a practice hand, but I am going to be giving the rest of the nail its shape with this clear acrylic. I'm going to finish encapsulating these nails. I am using my Profiles Backstage Monomer and Acrylic Brush. Don't forget, everything will be in the description box along with my discount code so you guys can save a little bit of money. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys just watch this. Don't forget to check out my liquid to powder ratio if you guys are struggling with that. I go really in depth and really share with you guys everything you need to know in order to master that. I've gotten tons of positive feedback so make sure you check it out.
Once everything is nice and dry, I'm going in with my 5-in-1 fine bit from Kiara Sky and I am lightly filing the surface of the nail. I'm not trying to debulk at all. All I'm trying to do is smooth out that surface for easier hand filing. Highly recommend this bit. It is freaking amazing. And I also really like my e-file, which is also from Kiara Sky. Again, don't forget to use my discount code to save a little bit of money. I have a really in-depth video on how to e-file as well. If you guys are struggling in that, I will show you everything you need to know to master e-filing, so make sure you guys check that out. And I'll give you all the ins and outs and details of this specific e-file as well. Now that I'm done filing the surface, I am taking my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file. These are linked in my Amazon storefront. And I'm going in on the sides of the nail, making sure that the shape is nice and straight, nice and perfect. And then I'm going in lightly over the surface of the nail just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and that the transition from the cuticle area down to the tip is perfect. I think this is, for me, the best way that I can ensure that, doing it with a hand file. And of course, I'm going to be repeating that on the rest of the nails. Now that I'm done, I am flipping the hand over to look at the nails from the client's perspective. This is really important because you can know anything that you might need to fix. So make sure you guys do this. It helps tremendously and it helps get that shape perfect as well. Now I'm going in with my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage and lightly buffing the surface. This is really, really fine so it helps smooth everything out in preparation for nail art or your top coat. Now I'm going in with my lint free wipe and some swipe from Young Nails and gently cleansing the surface of the nail along with my practice hand to remove any dust particles. Now that it's nice and clean I'm going in with my black gel paint. I am using one that has a tacky layer and I do think you can use a black gel polish as well as long as it has that tacky layer on top you can use that we want to make sure it has that sticky layer for the next step so I'm just drawing random little lines I kind of wanted to give it a goldish like rustic look that you would typically see if something was underwater so that was my thought process on this. I don't know, it ended up looking still really cute, but sometimes my brain just works that way and I just throw things on there. So make sure you cure that in the light before you go in with your foil. Once it's out of the light, you can firmly press it into that tacky layer and the foil will transfer. Now I'm taking my gem gel from Profiles Backstage and applying that on my middle finger. I'm doing it around the cuticle area. I'm going to be throwing on a bunch of crystals and the little seashells for 
the top of this nail. I like to lightly apply that in the area where I'm going to be applying them and making sure it's nice and um, thin so it's not super, super bulky. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply these on the nail, just randomly kind of figuring out where everything looks good and going from there. The thing that I like about the gem gel is that obviously it doesn't cure until you place it into your LED or UV light. So you have endless amount of time to figure out the placement before you actually freeze it into place. I am a sucker for that. Like it is a game changer. I've used glue a ton and it would get really, really frustrating when you would apply something and it didn't look right. And then you have to cut it off and you're basically wasting crystals versus this you can move it around and if you need to remove it you can and it's easily removed so again i'm just going to be layering a bunch of crystals little pearls that came in that little pack that i showed you that is from profiles backstage so make sure you check out all of their stuff they have tons of nail art stuff for you guys Once you are content with the placement of that, cure it in your light. Make sure to place it in there for at least one minute. Once it's out of the light, you are good to go. I am using Gloss It From Not Polish and applying that on the surface of all of my nails. I'm doing a very thin layer and making sure that I'm covering the full nail. And then I wipe off any excess on the sides that might ruin the shape. Now for the middle finger, you want to go around the crystals and the only areas that I actually place top coat over is the little seashells because those won't get ruined if you apply some over it. And I want to make sure that they're going to be staying on the nail. So that's why I add a layer of top coat over them. Make sure you guys cure this in the light for at least one minute. I like to do two just to ensure everything is nice and cured. That basically concludes this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.